my God, my word of honor to be faithful. Nookie Thompson is here. Mr. Thompson, I am honored. Well, he was a good man. My deepest condolences. Oh, I, I hadn't even realized you knew my husband. Oh, of course. He's a fine fellow. Just last month we spoke. But the laryngectomy. Got a cigarette? Got a smile. Just a smile. I, I, I'm Carol. My husband, Jim. And Bush, the dog. You from around here? No, no, I'm, I'm traveling. Us too. We're headed for Iowa. You want to come along? I had that flower in the you, palm of my hand. You seem sad. The petals in the glass Jim, are mixed together. Play her a song. In the foreclosure. That's all been taken care of by brother Roy and sister Claudia. They put $500,000 in the bank. <laughs> Troubles are over. <laughs> 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 you guys! You okay? Is that the mantra for the day? I'm fine. I just need a cigarette. I'm gonna go to the store. No, Paul said you're not to leave the house. You stay here. I'll go. Okay. I'm defending myself. You're entitled to a legal defense. Free of charge if you can't afford a lawyer. There's a legal aid society right in this building. All you have to do is no, tell me. They're a bunch of terrorists. They're involved. Miss Fitzbergen. They like drunks, dope users. Miss Fitzbergen. They love grave robbers. Grave robbers and animal killers. And oh, abortionists. Their biggest clients are baby okay, murderers. Okay, that's enough, Miss Fitzbergen. I'm sending you back downstairs where a court appointed attorney will meet with you to discuss your plea. Don't send me any black people. Next they're case. descendants of pain. I hate Rocket them. All of them. Ending. Except Chris Goff, but he's really white. Baby Crockett. It was right before the very earth itself started to, to shake like a wet dog coming in from a cold rain. They're calling up their Indian spirits against us, Mr. Russell. They're calling up their heathen devils to kill us all in our bed. Exactly. Do you see? Do you see what's going on here? You'll have to remove the liquor as well. It would be greatly out of place. <laughs> and now, a few words of moral guidance and spiritual staunchness from Mr. George Russell. Ah, you're my best customer, Mr. Rain. <laughs> and you know these apples? They bring you luck. Really? Well, I could, uh, I could use some of that. <laughs> Annie, right? Yeah. yeah, that's me. Annie, this is Josie Watts. She's our hostess. Oh, wow, you sure. Look at Derry. Nice get up. Thanks. Um, I was wondering, have you seen a woman named Charlie hanging up by the docks? Oh, I know who she is. Sure. Really? Yeah, I, I seen her years back and then nothing until a couple of months ago. She's my mother. Is she now? Yeah. Well, well, Josie, I, I keep an eye out. How's that? That would be great. I really, really appreciate that. Sure. I would too. And if you go via the kitchen door, I think the chef has a little packet for you. Oh, God bless you, Mr. Ray. Water's peaceful tonight, isn't it? Not for me. I never learned how to swim. Then you're standing pretty close to the edge. I always have. You said I was worse off than you were. Was I right? Yeah. Yeah, you were. Here, try again. Angel's gonna change things for you. As the world turns. 
Hey, everybody. This yeah. is Judy Shields. She's one of the finalists. Oh, hello, Ms. Oh. Shields. How are you? I'm Kirk Anderson. I'm supervising the contest. This is Ellie Snyder. Hi. And our publisher, How Lucinda Walsh Dixon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Judy. If I win, do I have to give a Excuse me? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you worry about it at all. If you, if you have nothing to say, this young man will be your mouthpiece. <laughs> one life to live. I recognize you. Okay, look, you. lady. Not you, her. Oh. You sang your heart out the night of the snowstorm. <laughs> Looks like you did better than survive. What was your name again? Well, actually, it's Blondie. Oh. And this is Ben. Good morning, Clarice. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Yes. It was like this when I came back from dinner last night. I called housekeeping, but everyone was gone. Now, did you, did you see anyone around my room before you left last night? No, ma'am. Did you call Mr. Holden about this? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, Clarissa, uh, would you ask if anyone else saw someone near my door last night? Oh, yes. A man today who could take me away from my God.